Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to something video. Uh, I've got a handy dandy notebook here and I've got a list, a quick list um, that I just jotted down yesterday of the videos that we're going to be reacting to over the next couple of days. As you can see I've got pink hair. Once again another dare from my sister. She was shaving my head. I said take it all off. She left the top and hid the clippers. So I thought, you know what, it's about time we do something different, so I put some pink through it. With that being said, in the previous video guys, you would have seen me react to Hunters and Kickers from Pro Kick, and also uh, I did a special on a guy, Finn Rudd, who is a fellow Cantabrian, a fellow Kiwi. Uh, he's just signed for the University of California, Davis campus, as a punter on a four-year scholarship. So well done. The next guy I want to look at is similar age from New Zealand and he's just done the exact same thing except he went through pro kick and lo and behold in the last week he's announced that he signed a four-year full ride scholarship with the University of Indiana and that is absolutely incredible so today's video is going to be dedicated to my fellow Kiwi James Evans who will be the punter at the University of Indiana and who came across my TV screen about a week ago. The New Zealand media, I've got to give them credit, they covered the story of both these athletes as they signed their scholarship deals. So if I wasn't doing these reactions, if I didn't have any interest in American football and I had have watched that, maybe that would have began my journey. You know, you never know. So credit to the New Zealand media for following these guys' journeys and spreading it around the nation because we need feel good stories, man. We really do. So with that being said, Let's get into it. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like a Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell them I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. James Evans. Today's video is about learning as much as I can about the guy, getting my head around his journey and wishing him luck. Giving him a bit of exposure on this channel and getting behind my fellow Kiwis. So with that being said, let's go. I knew a James Evans at high school, but it wasn't this guy. James Evans, uh, James Evans, um, American football. The number one running back class of 2022. Well, it's not Mike Evans, James Evans pro kick. Let's have a look. No? Really? Let's go Google. James Evans, American football. Am I spelling it right? There he is. Oh. What is si.com? Oh, mate. Look at him. He's all over the internet. What a bloody legend. <laughs> like, seriously. James, okay, James Evans. How are we going to get some information on this guy? We're going to have to go to his... We're going to have to go back to Instagram. Have a look at Pro Kick. And... Here we go. Okay. There we are. Okay, so we've got his Instagram page, which is... Not... Very detailed, but that's okay. James Evans. Um... Punter... College Football. Oh, yes! I believe we've got... The original news story, which I was really hoping we be able to find. I never actually watched that full story, so that's going to be interesting. 24-7 Sports. We'll uh, have a look at that one. Let's go text. TVNZ. Yep. Auckland teens. Prodigious kicking earns him in America. James Evans has a boot so prestigious. Really? This guy James Evans got an absolute cannon of a boot. Is he going to be the next Michael Dixon? Oh my god, I've got to get my head around this. James Evans College Stats. We'll open that one. Hoosahuddle.com. We'll open that one. We've got another one from Hooser. Look at all these stories, bro. Newsbreak.com. IDSnews.com. Hooser Times. TVNZ. Fucking hell. We're probably going to see a lot of the same information, but the first thing we're going to do is just, once again, just read through his, his post here. Um, James put this up five days ago. Hugely excited to announce my commitment to play football and study on a full scholarship at Indiana University. Thank you to Coach T. Garden, Coach McKinney, and Coach Allen for providing me with this amazing opportunity. Massive thank you to John Smith and Nathan Chapman of Pro Kick Australia. 
Bloody legend. All right, we're not going to have any highlight clips, but what we do have is a news report. And there he is now. It's only a minute and nine seconds long. Yeah, I guess what we're aiming for is like a 45 yard, 4.5 punt. Um... <laughs> a 4 point, 4, 45 yard, 4.5 punt. What's this? What's this video? Bang! Holy shit, that is a boomer. So is that. These are some freaking cool clips, man. We're going to watch them all. We've got a two minute video back in November of 2019 talking about James Evans. And we've got a 38 second clip from Indiana that's going to be talking about that too. Okay, we've got a whole collection of clips here now, guys. Let's get into it. All right, we'll watch this one first. Yeah, I guess. What we're aiming for is like a 45 yard, 4.5 punt. Um, those balls are probably somewhere on the uh, big end of my kicks. I think the biggest punt I've hit on film is 5.38 seconds of hang time. Um, Fuck! But really in a Fuck. game you're just looking to be consistent and hitting like 4.5 seconds so the gunners can get downfield and cover the kick. Hmm. It's, uh, it's exciting though, it's really, really exciting. Um, like every every stadium in the Big Ten aside from one, there's 14 schools have have stayed in bigger than Eden Park. So, like man, it's crazy to think about. But I guess that's just the scale of things over there. That's exactly my reaction when I first heard that college football stadiums, or some of them, had even more seats in them than some of the professional stadiums. Okay, so he's talking about Eden Park. Eden Park is the biggest rugby stadium, biggest capacity rugby stadium in New Zealand, and rugby's our national sport. And I think Eden Park might hold 60,000. And let me just see. <laughs> this is going to blow me away. I know it. Indiana Football Stadium. The Indiana Hoosers. Memorial Stadium is a stadium in Bloomington, Indiana. It's primarily, primarily used for football and is the home field of the Indiana Hoosers. Okay, so let's imagine you're James, okay? He's just signed on the dotted, dotted line. And you've got to think, okay, this, this, is, this, this stadium's going to be packed out. Big rivalry game. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know how many people are in it. So let's have a look now. 52,626 people. The stadium opened in 1960. It replaced the original Memorial Stadium, built in 1925, a 20,000-seat seat stadium, located on 10th Street. A 36 times 91 foot, 28 meters HD scoreboard from Daktronics was added to the south end zone for the 2010 season, which is the 29th largest collegiate scoreboard in the country. How fucking cool is that? You bastard. All right, let's keep yeah, going. Like, um, yeah, I think there's three schools also. Uh, Era Stadium in the Big Ten aside from one, there's 14 schools have, have stayed in bigger than Eden Park. So, like, man, it's crazy to think about, but I guess that's just the scale of things over there, you know? Like, um, yeah, I think there's three schools also um, in the division, actually, that have stadiums over 100,000 in capacities. Hmm. A hundred thousand. Hmm. Wonder where that was shot. Right. Um, I'll tell you one thing, guys, and one thing, up, and and one thing only, and I'll shout it from the rooftops. I could have created a 10 times better news report than that. There was no narration, there was no highlights, there was no shit from Pro Kick, there was no interviewing his coaches from Pro Kick, there was no looking at the university in the States, the one that he's going to be going to. But James, you did well. You answered the questions fantastically, you seem to be very mature and just excited about your journey, so I want to say good luck. Now, let's continue. That news report was fucking terrible. Okay, here we go. The Indiana Foot so this is from Hoosersstateofmind.com. The Indiana football team picked up a commitment earlier this week from a punter from New Zealand and James Evans. The Hoosers again continue to bring in recruits despite being on quarantine and this time they looked outside the country. On Sunday, James Evans, a punter from New Zealand, posted on his Twitter page that he accepted a scholarship offer from the Hoosers. From the Hoosiers. Evans is an Australian style punter. 
the fuck does that mean, mate? He's a New Zealand punter. And if you're talking about a rugby style punt, Rugby's New Zealand's national game, it's not Australia's national game. Anyways, Evans is an Australian style punter that will join the Hoosiers in 2021. He's, he trains at Pro Kick Australia, which is where current IU punter Hayden Whitehead is from. Whitehead has been very good for the Hoosiers and Indiana thought, why not go back and get another punter? He will be a senior this year and the Hoosiers needed a punter in the 2021 class and that is exactly what they got with James. Australian style kickers have had a lot of success in the college game and James will hope to duplicate that for the Hoosiers. He didn't have any other offers according to 24-7 spots, but getting an offer from the Hoosiers was too good of an opportunity to pass up. Having a fellow pro kick alum on the Hoosiers didn't hurt either. He even gave Whitehead a shout out in his Twitter post. Indiana and coach Tom Allen hope they have found a pipeline for punters and have shored up a team need for the 2021 class. <laughs> uh, okay, that is absolutely awesome. And we're going to give this story another go if it's the same one no it's the same one okay oh okay that's the wrong james evans we've got a db from buffalo no nope. hoosia huddle hoosia's land pro kick australia punter james evans and there he is written by sammy jacobs tom allen and special teams coach casey to garden went back to the other side of the globe to find their next punter in auckland new zealand native james evans Evans trained with Pro Kick Australia, a company that helps guide and transition Australian athletes to perform at the college NFL level. And with, our and with our natural Aussie instinct of kicking a ball, we're focused on that area. Evans is the seventh commitment in the Hoosiers 2021 recruiting class and would be the natural to take over fellow Pro Kick Australia alum Hayden Whitehead. James describes himself as more of a traditional pocket punter, although I'm comfortable with all the different styles of punts, whether it be spirals, rollouts, or going in kicks. For many athletes from this area of the world that have only played Aussie rules football. Bro, you're talking about a New Zealander here. The only American football I've played was in PE class in high school, when Danny Hay, now the New Zealand football, football coach, was my PE teacher, so that would be a big adjustment. Evans has never been to the United States, but has been in contact with Whitehead about what he should expect before traveling to the other side of the globe. I've spoken to Whitehead over the phone a few times and he's been hugely helpful, helpful for me in understanding what life as a student athlete will be like. Whether that be expectations both as a student and, and as an athlete, but also just what to expect living in a foreign country. I've never actually been to the States, so he's been hugely helpful for understanding what to expect. He's been in coach. James has been in contact with Indiana head coach Tom Allen as well as special teams coordinator Casey Tegarden and a special teams quality control coach, Jeff McKinney. Evans told Hoosier Huddle that he is hugely excited about the opportunity of going to Indiana, not just, the plant, not just the chance to play football in the Big Ten, but to study at a nationally renowned university. Coach Allen, Coach Tegarden, and Coach McKinney have been great to me. They've built a very strong relationship with me over the phone, and I'm really excited about the culture and the program they're building at IU! While Evans awaits travel to the States, he will hopefully enroll early. He will focus on just working on everything, as I feel like the key to being a great punter is consistency. So just getting in repetitions, whether it be punting, holding, or even kicking off, will be huge for me in being best prepared to make the transition. The Hoosiers have found gold there before, so why not go back to the Pro Kick Australia well and create a pipeline? Very well written, my friend. Next, the Daily Hoosier, IU football recruiting, class of 21, New Zealand punter James Evans commits to Hoosiers. Indiana needs to replace a fixture at punter, and they are going to the same part of the world to get that done. New Zealand-based punter James Evans announced on Sunday morning US time that he had committed to the IU football program on a full scholarship. Evans made the announcement on his Twitter page. Okay, no, we've seen all that. Newsbreak.com. Indiana football, Hoosiers travel far for their next punter. The Indiana football team have picked up a commitment earlier this week from a punter from New Zealand and James Evans. The Hoosiers again continue to bring in recruits despite being on quarantine and this time they looked outside the country. Uh, we've seen that one. What have we got here? IDS News, Indiana Daily Student News. IU football earns commitments from receiver Jordan Williams and punter James Evans. There he is, the head coach Tom Allen. Leads players onto the field August 31st. Two new players, wide receiver Jordan Williams and punter James Evans committed on Friday and Sunday. Williams, a three-star recruit from Westover High School in Albany, Georgia, committed to IU on Friday. 
and is ranked as the number 204 receiving prospect. Evans, a New Zealand native, thanks for getting that right, announced his commitment to IU on Sunday and currently trains with ProKick Australia, the same organisation that worked with current IU punter, senior Hayden Whitehead. Williams, a 6 foot 1 inch, 185 pound receiver, no we don't want to talk about you, well we could but not today. It appears Whitehead will hand the reins over to Evans as IU's next punter. Entering his senior year, Whitehead has been the punter for the Hoosiers for three seasons and is a two-time honourable mention All-Big Ten selection. Evans said, can't wait to be a Hoosier come January and follow in the footsteps of the great Hayden Whitehead. And that was quoted from his Twitter page. 247sports.com, Hoosiers land commitment from New Zealand punter. Interesting. Okay, we've probably read most of this, but there is some information here. When I started with Pro Kick Australia, Nathan and John asked me what I wanted, to, what I was looking for in a school. Evan said, ideally, I wanted to go to a school with both, both a great business school and a great football program. Indiana definitely surpassed all my expectations, first with the Kelly School of Business and then with the football program playing in the Big Ten. Once I got on the phone with Coach Casey to Garden, Coach Ryan McKinley and Coach Tom Allen and got to know them, I knew Indiana was the school for me. The team itself feels like a real family and I think that's shown through the team mantra, mantra of Leo. What is the team mantra of Leo? Love each other. Love each other. Fuck, I'd be, I'd be into that. I'd be into a bit of that. Evans said his decision to play as college football at Indiana is something that has been in the works for a couple of months. Nathan Chapman and Don Smith came to me on March 9th. Today's, and he announced it on the 17th of May, so that's about nine or, nine or ten weeks later. Nathan Chapman and John Smith came to me on March 9th and said that they wanted me to go to Indiana. I was on board straight away, and from there they had conversations with Coach Allen, Coach Tegarden, and Coach McKinney. Coach Allen has taken pro kick athletes in the past, with obviously Hayden playing at Indiana at the moment, and then also Will Gleason when he was at Old Miss. So that pre-existing relationship made things easier. Towards the end of April, things became done and I gave my commitment on the phone to Coach DeGarden about 10 days ago. Can you imagine how exciting that would have been? The way Pro Kick Australia handles recruiting is different than how recruiting is typically done in the US. And for Evans, that meant they really guided him throughout the process. And that's, that's what you pay for, man. It really is. Not only the physical training, but also everything else. Our recruitment process works a lot differently than it does for American high school athletes. Pro kick coaches don't hoard offers from various schools for each athlete. They try to seek out where they think each athlete will fit and really thrive, whether it be academically, geographically, personality-wise, or football-wise. For me, Indiana was the first school that they spoke with uh, about me, and right away I was pretty keen on going there. They're definitely more educated than me about schools and places in the US, so trusting them and letting them handle things made things easy for me and ensured a smooth process. Even though all his communication with Indiana has been over the phone, Evan said that he's still been able to build a strong bond with the coaching staff. I feel like in a short time, I've built a great relationship with Coach Allen and Coach DeGarden. They're both very personable guys and they made me feel right at home. The program is very family orientated. They've made my family and I feel right at home. It's fantastic. After speaking to them, it wasn't a hard decision to commit. And I think any recruit in America would find them to not only be great coaches, but great people. He's saying the right things, I've got to say. Evan said he has spoken with Whitehead about his time in Bloomington. I've had the opportunity to speak to Hayden a few times over the last couple of weeks. He's been great at mentoring me. What else we got? We hopefully, he, he's, ho he's obviously played really well over the last few seasons and I look forward to watching him this upcoming season. From my, com from my conversations with the coaches, I know they hold him in a very high regard both as a leader and a punter and I think we can expect a huge year from him this year. Evans believes his rugby background will help him make a smooth transition to playing American football. I grew up in Auckland playing rugby. I played as a first five, so I handled the kicking duties, and that has helped me transition well to the game of American football. Other aspects of the sport, such as tackling, could come in handy as well, and so could the emphasis on strength in the weight room. Evans attended high school at Sacred Heart College in Auckland, New Zealand, and he graduated from there back in December. He moved to Australia early this year to begin training with Rugby. Holy shit! So he moved to Melbourne in January got offered something in March and committed in May. That's got to be one of the fastest journeys I've heard of. He's clearly got the, he's clearly got the boot. He's clearly got the talent. He must have done well academically. He must be a really, really easy fit. 
How fucking good. James. How old are you, man? Are you 18? Or 19? God, the world is your oyster. Oh, my lord. If only I was 10 years younger. I moved to Melbourne to start training with ProKick at the end of January, although prior to that I did about four months of training back home. Training with ProKick has helped me a lot. Nathan Chapman and John Smith both do a great job in not only coaching us to be consistent punters, but also, also in just creating a practice environment similar to what we expect to see in the US. Every training session varies. For example, there are days where we might only get a few kicks with a rush to simulate a game environment. And in doing so, we're forced to take advantage of every opportunity while in a pressured situation. With our weight room work, Dave Tuanavai does a great job in preparing us both physically and mentally for what we'll face in a college weight room. A lot of our training is centered around staple compound lifts such as the bench press, squat, clean and stuff like that. Evans, who will enroll at Indiana this upcoming January, said this opportunity he has to play college football at a Big Ten school is a huge deal for him and for those close to him. This is massive for myself and my family. It's a huge opportunity and something that I've wanted to do since I was 13. A lot of my family and friends have told me they want to come and visit and interest in custom Indiana football jerseys in New Zealand has definitely increased. <laughs> I'll be getting one. And there we have it, guys. My video reacting to my man from the homeland and new University of Indiana punter, James Evans. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. It's been about a half an hour video. I really hope you've enjoyed these last three videos. We've focused on New Zealand and Australian punters, um, specifically James Evans in this video and Finn Rudd, a friend of mine in the previous video. So I want to say good luck to all these guys who've done the hard yards, put in the work and reap the reward, the huge reward. I am so, so excited for each and every one of you guys. You all deserve it. And if you do have any crazy highlight clips or you make a tackle or do a fake punt or something cool, send it through, link me up and I'll put it on the channel. How's that? And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.